Hello everyone, it's System Collapse, and this is Sky Factory 4. Hope everyone's having well, and I really for today. today. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. Uh, in between episodes, I did get much done. I did do a little bit, but uh, we're going to push forward, probably get the power, and die. Uh, I got a fancy gun here. So let's kind of take a look, see, see what I did, and then, yeah, move forward. Um, first thing, three tools here. I got three weapons. I got this here. This is the Omni tool. These all came from the mob farm. It's one of the reasons I wanted to make it to get these cool lasers. Um, <laughs> you can actually shoot laser blasts, which are pretty awesome. This one too, the Omni tool can break blocks. So that is pretty neat and uh, pretty cool. So yeah, it's only eight damage, but at the same time, it is uh, pretty legit. Over here, we've got another one called the phaser layer. Phaser rifle? I was going to say phaser laser. What is a phaser laser? But anyway, you can shoot blast with it. It does about nine damage. It shoots a little faster. And uh, you can see there, it uses like power, right? And it has like a little heating mechanic. So as it shoots, I think if it overheats, you can't shoot, right? So that's kind of how that works. Last one is the ion rifle. And this one is 22 damage, but uses a large amount of that percentage. It produces a lot of heat. So pretty cool little weapons here. Pretty awesome. They're really loud, but at the same time, I mean, we got lasers, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, we're going to be able to charge these really soon. So I'm not really worried about the charge. So that is a thing. I've been getting those from the mob farm. Like I said, the mob farm is working well, insanely well. We're going to kind of turn that on. Do that. Turn that off for now. We probably don't need it. Let's just grab that ball of experience right now. It gets sucked in a second. That ball of experience that was in there, was just sitting there, is basically waiting for this to drain before we get in there. That clumps mod just kind of keeps it there. Doesn't even matter that we don't have a tank that's big enough. Honestly, doesn't matter. I will do proper EFP storage at some point. Uh, we do have this mod here. What is it? XP... Uh, it's from Cyclic, right? The Experience Pylon. Just need to do Lime Die, and I've been lazy. Because we have to do, like, this water thing, right? Just do that and that. Then we can kind of just get that done, facilitate all our experience needs. Oh, we'll make that at a later point, I guess. Or at least I'll show it. Maybe I'll make it by myself. Because no one wants to watch another human being just make Lime Die with water. The dye is really weird. It's reason. I was kind of looking at it. You look at Green Dye Water Bottle. So the dyes, <laughs> you can't seem to make the lime dye normally. It doesn't seem to be an option. So yeah, to make the lime dye, we have to do this jazz with the water, which isn't a big deal. It's just cauldron and stuff, but at the same time, don't want to do it right now. So what we're going to get to today, oh, uh, we did one more thing, actually, before we do anything. Over here, I made this puppy. This is just a drum. So you go to drum here. Um, I guess drum. Let's go to Aunt drum. Check that out. I made some of these upgrades as well. So these 1K ones. So the 1K ones add a lot of capacity. So it was an extra 1,024 millipockets. This thing can hold, I think it says on the screen there actually, 5.18 million millipockets with just five of those upgrades. So utterly ridiculous. And I just add another extraction cable, kind of pulling off it, and then threw on this, the simple combustion generator. We have just a little bit of charcoal in here. This is honestly only the second stack of charcoal I put in here. And it's already produced um, 1,300 buckets. I mean, this produces lava without that or not. We've got a weird little lag hitch here. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I set it to three on here. It takes 10 RF tick, makes it go every 50 ticks. It moves the cobblestone in. And even if the charcoal is not in there, it's like 500 ticks, right? But uh, it produces lava just much quicker. And it's just, it's building up insanely fast. So pretty awesome, pretty legit. And uh, I do like that. So that is the other thing I did. What we're going to get today, though, is probably going to be this. We're going to go actually to the Age of Power, start working on this quest line here in that one, I think, and then probably get to do our first machines, probably be what we do. Actually, before we do anything, let's do this. Trid, mill. We're going to do this one just because it's lolzies and it's kind of an advancement. So uh, how much quartz do I have left? I do not. That's actually, I need to see the quartz sapling real quick. <laughs> quartz sapling. I could go back to nether. I guess we only need to keep one. There we go. Um, anyway. I want to get this one done. It's a way of producing power, but it's like tidy amounts of power. So yeah, it's kind of a more of a meme than anything, right? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab some carpets. Can we do carpets? Oh, we'd have to do that, right? So one, two, grab that. Hopefully grab our, oh, those aren't carpets at all, man. What are carpets? Carpets are two, right? Yeah. For a second, I thought there were three. But anyway, let's do that. There we go. This is a treadmill from Sync. It produces power, but I think it's like really low power. Oh, we need a lead, don't we? Um, with a pig. <laughs> anyway, let's do it, do it really quickly. Lead, grab you. Awesome, we got our lead. And uh, we'll get some power, man. All this powerful power that's going to be just being produced by our massive, powerful piggy. I'm just doing it because it's advancement, basically. Do you? Let's take our piggy for a walk. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. I can carry around animals like this. 
Let's uh, take him. Let's uh, pop this puppy down. Well, let's take uh, Mr. Piggy. Let's put him there. And I think that produces power like that. I think it's like that, right? Eh? Can you just keep him on here? Does he stay? There you go. Mr. Piggy's actually producing power. I don't know why the lead's breaking. But, um, yeah. Generating 2.0 pickawatts. <laughs> so it is producing power. We'd have to connect a battery or something to it. But at the same time, it is just kind of funny how it works. And uh, I thought I'd show it real quick. Go, Mr. Piggy. Anyway, let's get into our actual power. The power we're going to be doing is going to be the combustion generators that we set up yesterday. The reason I'm doing those ones is because we have 150,000 oak. Each one of these in a combustion generator produces 6,000 RF. So you multiply that 153,000 times 6,000. That's how much total power we have just in wood. We'd be silly not to. So that is why I'm going with those. And wait, let's go to combustion. Kind of get these going. Combustion, simple. We need a couple furnaces. Let's do that. I just threw them on the ground. That's fine. Go ahead and grab some redstone. <laughs> there we go. And I know we're going to need some iron blocks too because I broke them all down. So let's do that real quick. Iron. Sweet. Then we just craft this stuff up. Get these set up and uh, then kind of move on to some maybe some machines and stuff. So anyway, let's go to Ant Generator. There we go. They should be the Sipples. There's two of those. We're just going to go with two right now. Then we need to make these modifier components. And what am I missing uh, with the modifier? Oh, yeah, block concrete. Let's do like four sets of that. Cool. Go ahead and actually grab the components. We're going to grab enough to do that and that because we do upgrades for these two. So I'm going to use the other eight for that. There we go. There's two. And the upgrades, where are they at? They were from a different mod. Let's go to, no, it was a speed modifier. Grab them. Sweet. And we're just getting advancement after advancement here. I just was quite aware of them. There we go. That's cool. And there we go. Need I, 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 I speed. So four times speed, I guess. <laughs> hey, wait. So that's good there. We've got our generators. We're going to automate these real quick. So we can use uh, those export cables we made previously. So let's go ahead and grab them. And then we're going to take those, ram the generators right here. That's cool. We'll need uh, a single piece of oak. So let's do some oak here. So if I was oak, I would be right here just to set a filter. And then, yeah, get these things going. Uh, these upgraded ones, so you can kind of go into them, look at them, right? So you see here the capacity is 512,000. You go through a list of all the things that can burn for fuel. So that is pretty cool. And there's also this one here which gives you kind of info, but it's not really much. It tells you that it produces 80 RF tick. So these will produce 80 RF tick before the speed upgrades. I don't know about after. Um, I'm going to guess like 320, maybe maybe more than that. Should be, I mean, we're adding four, right? That depends on how much it ups it. I guess I don't know until we have uh, some kind of battery or something. But it gives it four uh, modifier slots, which are pretty cool. And the modifier slots, I took this into creative really quickly. And I saw that you put like a bunch in a single slot. But we're just going to do four right now in each slot. So that's the way we're going to do it. Uh, these export cables aren't particularly fast. That's the reason I'm only reason I'm limiting uh, how many uh, speed modifiers we'll put it in there. But anyway, we're just going to set the filter right like that. And that probably set the priority to the highest in the network, which is five. Same here. Or four. I guess four is the highest right now. And uh, that's just going to produce power. Produce power nonstop. It's going to fill the buffer and it's just going to be done, right? So we got legitimate, pretty solid power right now. And uh, it's going. I don't know how much we're producing. Fuel buffer, like it doesn't tell me. We need some kind of battery to be able to tell uh, what the in and out on it is. Anyway, let's go. Kind of take a look. See here. Next thing we might get into are these chargers. Chargers look really easy. And we have tools right now. We can get charged, right? So probably be a pretty solid idea. There's one right there. Charging my laser. Go ahead and grab another. These have metadata, so we have to add them. And I'm just going to go to the top one right away because there's really no reason not to. Let's do that there. Sweet. This holds 1 million power, apparently, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Take that puppy, pop it right there. And uh, we should be able to charge these now, right? Yeah, it doesn't charge insanely fast or nothing, but uh, pretty good. It's doing it, man. <laughs> there you go. Get that one charged and get that one charged. So anything that you need charged now, right there in the charger. Super easy. Don't even have to worry about it. Oh, I need to pull that one out. I was wondering why it wasn't charging. Anyway, we'll get that done. And then maybe figure out what we're going to get to next. So that is kind of what I want to do for power. That is our like power for right now. 
One thing I would like to get to is finding a way of uh, automating obsidian. I haven't really looked at it yet. So I was going to say automating obsidian. Let's go do obsidian real quick. So if I want to automate obsidian, how would I do it? It's going to be like a legitimate, like easy way to do it in this pack. Like I haven't really looked that much yet. We could do pigs. Pigs would be that. The reason I want to get to automating obsidian is we're going to need a bunch. There's a mod in here called Flux Networks. It uses a lot of, a lot of, uh, ooh, what's this? That may be an option. I've never used this thing before. So lava plus four sticks equals, is that a thing? That seems odd. Let's try that thing. <laughs> I have no idea. What is that? Uh, solidifier? Solidifier. I don't make lily pads though. I don't have this. Oh, I we'll have to do a hydrator. Oh, this is becoming a rabbit hole. Hydrator, I've used this thing before. Uh, we need another bucket of water. What else was in there? Let's go back. Hydrator, check that out. So bucket of water, three terracotta, an iron block, and a dropper. Okay, let's do that. Let's grab some clay. Get three of those smelted up. Sweet and sweet. Grab ourselves a bucket of water. I need to get an infinite water too, but uh, we need a machine for that to be able to uh, make that. I think it was the manufacturing, which we could probably do right now, actually. Maybe we'll get that started as well once I get this hydrator made. Hydrator. Let's go ahead and grab that. Check that out. So I can do that, and we just need terracotta. Sweet. One, two. Give me the last one, and we're done. Come on. Big bucks. So hopefully this works out. I'm honestly just going down a little rabbit hole here and seeing if we can get this done because <laughs> I really don't know. But anyway, let's do that right there. Grab our hydrator. Okay, and the one we wanted was the solidifier, right? So to do the solidifier, we needed a lily pad. And we were going to do that with this stuff. So I'd have to get grass, but I think we have the rest, right? So I go to cactus, right? We have that. Uh, seeds we can get if we don't have here. We have them. Awesome. It was grass. And what was the last one? Um, I can't remember. Let's go here. Lily. Here. Seeds. Oh, vines. We have vines. We did those early. Cool. And then grass. So grass, we'll just have to make... I don't have any grass blocks. Did I not keep any grass blocks? What were grass blocks again? It was something really easy. Grass blocks. Do that. It was leaves and mud. And mud was dirt. Pop that in there. Put it in the mud. Then put in the leaves, right? Sweet. Got ourselves a dirt. Uh, may need a watering can to spread this, but at least uh, we got it going, right? So let's go ahead and grab a good amount of dirt here. Sweet and sweet. Get over here. Our pigs is running rampant. I really just wanted to do here before the advancement. No other reason. Um, he only produces like two RF or something. Something minuscule. I mean, I, I guess you could do an army of them if you really wanted to. <laughs> anyway, do that. And uh, yeah, we'll need a shear, right? So let's go ahead and grab a shear. So a shear, um, probably just that one. That'd be good. And can we do a watering can easy? Watering can. We'll probably do this one. Why? That looks easy. Let's go grab a bucket of water. I really need to get to this infinite water. I keep having to run this way. Uh, there's ones from Nuclear Craft, and they took like graphite dust or something, I think it was. Uh, once we have that, we can get to the infinite water pretty easy. Let's do you. Grab that. Sweet. And does this one have to be filled? Use the water things. I don't know if this one has to be filled or not. Shift right click. Oh, that spread things instantly. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some bone meal. Let's do that. Bone meal. I have it right here. Cool. And uh, we have our shears. And then we'll have grass and we'll be able to get this thing done. Awesome. It's coming together, man. We're getting stuff done. Cool. So let's go uh, see this machine. I'm guessing it's going to take power. So let's grab the hydrator. Pop it right here. It's going to need some water as well, of course. Dang, damn it. So it'd be that, that, that. And what was the last one? Oh, yeah, this here, right? Okay, let's go grab a bucket of water. And while we're at it, let's go here. Let's see the, what was the manufacturing? Because I know we desperately need this thing. Uh, it needs a copper solenoid. <laughs> needs a piston. And one of these puppies. So we've got our manufacturing. I think it's what we need. Let's go there. And what is it? Infinite water source? Because I'm going to get tired of walking back and forth a lot. So it was in here. Graphite dust. And it was in the manufactory. So we need to take pulverized coal. Can I do that in one of these machines too? Pulverized coal and charcoal. 
new. Let's see here. Oh, I can do coal in the manufacturing. So it's all manufacturing. Cool. Go ahead and grab a stack of coal as well. Then we'll be able to get to uh, infinite water, which is pretty legit as well. <laughs> but I want to get our bucket, at least one bucket of water and see this thing work first. So let's do that. And uh, yeah, we're getting together, man. It's just kind of figure things out. See how it's going to work. Getting some plans going, right? So yeah, Cyclic's got some pretty cool machines here. Anyway, that's there. That's got water. So what was it? Lily pad? Lily, Lily, right? Oh, I just had the wrong recipe. Okay, we got two right there. How many of these did I actually need? I don't even know. Anyway, let's go to the solidifier. Solid, check that out. Solidifier was only two, so we can't get that going, but I want to get the manufacturing going too. So let's go ahead and take that puppy, pop that there, grind down some coal maybe. Oh, is this going to need a cable? Some things are like this too. They want to have cables, right? And it looks like this is one of the ones uh, the, that the machine is actually going to want a power cable. So we're going to have to do that real quick. Uh, what kind of cable could we do? Let's go to uh, pipe real quick. Let's see what we could buy for power. Leadstone, glass. Oh, that's super easy. We'll just use them. <laughs> and uh, we should be able to get power in the machine with that. Sweet and sweet. And let's see here. So if I just hook cable right on right there, see if we can get a manufacturer right there. Why isn't this taking power from this? Wait a second. I'm actually confused right now. Where's the power going? It's producing power, but it's going somewhere? Huh? Oh, it's getting power now. Okay, not sure why I was doing that. These machines, I remember, are power hogs. Oh, they're not too bad in this one. It was in uh, Ignomatica. They were utterly insane. But anyway, that's good there. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make that... Uh, what was the other one called? The solidifier? So lid a fire. Go ahead and grab that. Looks like it's good. We just need a observer. Awesome. Go ahead and grab a solidifier. Uh, it was sticks, right? So sticks. Grab you. We also need some, I guess, lava. So let's grab uh, lavas over there. We can just extract into that, I guess. And then let's see here. We would need an extraction. Go ahead and grab an extraction for that real quickly. This is really just all testing. I honestly had no idea I was going to be doing this. Let's go ahead and grab this dropper. Cool and cool. So stick that in lava. That really sounds odd for obsidian. It almost makes me think it's not going to work. <laughs> we may need another generator here, but that's not a big deal. Uh, let's grab the solidifier. Let's, uh, let's actually put it like right here, I guess. Then the extraction, I guess, would come off of here. So that's cool. So that's getting lava, no problem. And then, actually, does this even take power? Oh my goodness. It doesn't even take power. This thing's insane. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Let's uh, automate that super like lazily right now. Let's grab some hoppers. Let's do that. Let's do... I thought uh, I was going to have to do a lot of work for obsidian, but if this is all I have to do, um, this, is, this is insanely easy. Let's grab uh, some sticks. There we go. Just to get us started. Maybe a chest really quick. So chest. Let's do you. You get in there. You get in there. Good. Just give us a little bit of room. And uh, try this puppy out here. Because uh, this that's way too easy. <laughs> Not that I mind. But I can like buffer up a stack at a time and just be ready to go. Because uh, like I said, we need a ton of this stuff. Uh, obsidian. So let's do that. Because uh, once we have the obsidian, we can literally just get into like an insanely good power system. A uh, wireless power system, I mean. So that is pretty legit. Awesome. Look at this, man. It's doing the stuff and things. Yeah, that is obsidian automation. I mean, honestly, all I need is a hopper on the bottom and pull it out in a faster way to move sticks in there. <laughs> then we're good. That is so cool. Okay, that is legit. Okay, we automated that. Down here, we were doing the manufacturing. And now uh, we're going to work on uh, infinite water source, right? Infinite water source. So how many of these do we need? If we go to infinite water, check this out. We will have graphite dust. We need, how many of those do we need? We just need four. So we actually don't need much of this at all. Let's do like eight for right now. Let's pull you out. Let's do that. Awesome. 
And uh, once those are done, we get our infinite water source, right? Anything else I can craft while we're waiting? Uh, two buckets of water right there. We've got our graphite. And uh, our pig's just going mad. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's see here. Infinite. Let's see if we can do this. So we can go ahead and make two sets of these now, right? I would actually make more than that. That's cool. We'll make that. And I think I just dropped them on the ground. Oh, they're like floating in my inventory for no apparent reason. There we go. Infinite water source. Okay. So we can take that puppy, right? Pop that on ground. Can I just grab those buckets now and just use that directly on that? Because that's kind of what I want to do. And to just make a second one so we have it. Yes, we can. That's cool. All right. Oh, didn't work. Oh, just a little delayed. Anyway, let's go back. Make another one. Infinite water source. Grab you. Awesome. And awesome. So yeah, we have infinite water. It only produces 10 millibuckets a tick. Oh, that's why it took a couple seconds. But we can upgrade this later on and get uh, pretty crazy ones. 640 millibuckets a tick. Uh, sinks in this pack are disabled. I guess I should have said that before I started all this because a lot of people are going to go, just use a, a, a sink. But uh, they, 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 they're not disabled. Sinks here, it works with the multi-block. You can't pull water out of it. The water part of it's actually been disabled, the infinite water. So that is a thing. So yeah, we just got ourselves infinite water. Uh, a manufactory, which is a machine we'll be actually be using a lot. Actually, I'm going to take a bunch more of that coal and pop that in there. And uh, a good way of getting uh, obsidian, which is insane. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to get us a bunch of obsidian here. Then I think we're going to move forward and get, just straight get into wireless power because there's no reason not to. And okay, we've got ourselves a good amount of obsidian here. I kind of threw some more sticks. It looks like it's pretty much through it. But uh, we got a good amount of obsidian. We're going. I got another like three stacks in there, so we're good to go. Uh, what we're going to get, though, is go ahead and make a drum. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, and just throw it on top of one of those uh, infinite water sources. And then it's going to just produce kind of infinite water. So it is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's kind of get that done. Let's get a bunch of you, I suppose. Toss you there. There you go. Awesome. And then we'll get into infinite power. Not infinite power. Infinite wireless power. I wish it was infinite power. But anyway, let's do that. We'll grab a drum. May upgrade this to a metal one later on. But for right now, as long as I have like water that I could just grab instantly and not have to wander around, I'd be a giant quality life thing. I also want to show how this kind of auto exports. So I'm just going to kind of put it up here right now. And it's going to start automatically filling. That's what it's going to do. It's just going to fill up the drum. And it automatically pushes the water into inventories. So yeah, really sweet little block. Awesome little infinite water source. So that is awesome. So the next thing we're going to get to here, like I said, probably going to be flux networks. So flux networks, we're going to need some cobblestone. Let's uh, actually clear you out. Grab some cobble. I already have a bucket of lava. And we're going to need a bunch of redstone. So let's go ahead and grab that. We have like 6,000 already. So I'm just going to make a bunch of this. Because uh, this is... Uh, this is a mod I use a lot. Uh, Flux Networks is insanely good. It's powerful. Um, infinite wireless power, pretty much. It's like 2 billion maximum <laughs> input and output. It is uh, pretty insane. One of the big components, though, is the Flux. And to do that, you just take redstone, throw it in lava. You can smelt it down, but honestly, you, know, you can make it way quicker and for free this way. So we'll just do it that way there. So we'll take that. Uh, not use a bucket because that doesn't make any sense. Why I'm trying to use the infinite water block as my inventory system, I have no idea, but that is a thing. But anyway, let's go over to Flux Networks, check that out. And uh, here's like the main components of the mod. And uh, here's one of the main things of why I needed all the obsidian. We also need a bunch of eyes of ender. So let's go ahead and make a good amount of these. We have a bunch of ender pearls. I haven't really counted them. I'd have to go look at the crate, um, but we probably have a couple hundred now, I would assume. But anyway, that's that. Need to make a bunch of these flux cores. So let's go ahead and make like a stack of them to kind of start. There we go. Then we're going to make a bunch of these uh, flux blocks. Hopefully. We're going to do that. There we go. We can make 15. I think it takes five for the controller. Is it six for the tank? I think. Six for the tank. And then the plugs need them. So we'll make like that many. <laughs> I guess we'll make a couple more of these. There we go. We're good. So the first thing we're going to make here is the flux controller. Really easy to make. Once you have a lot of redstone, you're good to go. And the obsidian, of course. Uh, we're also going to need one of these. These are like batteries. Makes it so it can move the power around, kind of on a network. So we're going to have to go ahead and actually make a basic flux network uh, storage. Uh, to make the higher level ones, we need to make six. I'm not going to jump to that right now. 
basically we already have like a million RF battery in those two uh, storage blocks. So I'm not that worried about it. Uh, they both hold, held uh, 512,000, I think it was when they were upgraded. So we're pretty good in that regards. The main thing we're gonna need are these flux plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and grab probably a couple of them. Let's do two right now. And then mainly the rest of it's gonna be set on, I guess spent on flux points. So let's go ahead and grab them. There we go. So to set this up is super simple. I'm just gonna kind of pick a spot here, kind of out of the way. Uh, the flux controller can pretty much go anywhere. I'm just gonna put it out of this kind of crate here, our chest, cause it doesn't really matter. But the first thing we need to do is make a network. So let's just call it uh, power. <laughs> And we can change the color and stuff. I could make it, you know, blue, green, red. I've been making everything red in this pack, right? So let's do like that and zero, then maybe zero. There we go. And uh, that'll be our color <laughs> for our network. And we'll just hit the check mark, hit create. We'll turn it on. So it's turned on now. We could also delete it if we wanted to. Uh, these settings here, I don't think matter right now. This is for like priorities and stuff, right? That's cool. This one here, you can see all your ins and outs, all your plugs, like how many have, how many controllers, input, output, storage, and all that jazz. And if you want to allow other players to use your power network, you can do it right here, which is cool. And debug, we don't care about that. Uh, over here, we want to make sure wireless charging is enabled. And then we're going to turn on left and right hand. And now we actually don't need that wireless charger anymore, <laughs> oddly enough, because this is going to wirelessly charge all of our stuff. We really don't have to worry about it anymore. I think it just has to be in our hand. Actually, I don't, no, it doesn't. It could be in our inventory too. Uh, transfer limit, I'm going to turn that off. We don't need it, but it can move right there by default, 256,000. It can go way above that, so not a big deal. Uh, but effectively, this network is set up. You can change the type of power too, and whether it can convert to other kinds of power. But I think this packet's all RF, so we don't have to worry about that. The last thing we need to do, I guess, is get down the actual storage. This is the storage here. We're gonna make sure it's on the right channel. It is, so that's cool. There's nothing in it right now, but now we can fix that really quick. So what we're gonna do is grab uh, these flux plugs, right? We're gonna grab them, pop one on each, and set it to uh, the channel. And what that's gonna do is fill up this thing. You can see here it's already filled. It filled that like instantly because there's already, like I said, a million RF over there, it can move insane amounts of power. And uh, that's our power. <laughs> that's our battery. And all we need now to move power, so I don't even need these machines over here anymore. So what we'll do is break you, I guess break you and break you, sweet. And we don't even need you, I decided, right? So we'll just kind of grab that, take that. Um, if you're on, um, I guess the prestige mode, you'd be using that other charger more. There's actually another wireless charger as well. But uh, since we're not on prestige mode, um, we can get to that right away. I think Flux Networks is locked in prestige mode. But anyway, we could take our machines out and uh, I could do something like this, right? So I could go ahead and grab duct, grab you. I could go ahead and grab a flux point, throw it on the cable. Oh, that's not right. Let's uh, try doing that correctly. There we go. Grab the flux point, I guess. <laughs> try that again. There we go, set it to power. And that should power the machine. Yeah, I saw the bar going up there. And um, it's good to go. So we could just do a line, right? So I could just do something like that. And each line of power only needs one of these points. Um, of course, these, these flux ducts can only move so much power, depending on how much you're using. You have to make the higher level flux ducts and stuff. So that is pretty legit. I want to take one of them <laughs> and actually go over here real quick. Let's do that. See how much power I can kind of use on this and how fast and insane I can make lava. Because I think it's going to be pretty silly. Let's go here. Power. Awesome. And uh, let's set that to 8. <laughs> My stone can't keep up, but I'll probably keep it at like 5. I'll probably keep up with the stone, right? Oops. That's fine there. Yeah, anyway, that'll make lava even faster. So we have tons of lava. If we I, like, I don't even think we're gonna need this lava. I don't think we're gonna get into lava generators, but I mean, that's pretty insane. 50 RF tick to make a ton of lava. Anyway, that's cool. We'll let that go, we'll let the dude thing. And on the point now, it should show some power moving around, right? Yeah, it's showing the 50 that's going out uh, to that over there. So it's showing that the max amount right now that's being used is the 50 RF tick and it's letting 50 in because that's what's coming out of the maximum of the buffer. So yeah, we have full on wireless power now, which is uh, pretty sweet. We're gonna get to one more thing today and it's more setting up for the next video. So what we're gonna do is probably get into latex really quickly. So we go to, um, what is it? Tree fluid. 
We need some of these, the tree fluid extractors. So we're gonna go ahead and make some of them. I probably didn't need, not need to make that many of them. But anyway, let's do that. There we go. Drop them off. Probably just go with like, let's go with three of them. When I make four, it's always like trying to figure out how to get things uh, all in a tight little space there. Uh, let's also make a breaker. So we need some kind of breaker here. Cyclic has one, so this should work, right? Block miner, no, block controlled miner. Isn't there another breaker? What? Uh, oh no, we don't need a breaker. We need a placer. I don't even know what to talk about. We need a placer. We are, that's funny that we don't have any, uh, I didn't need that. Any block uh, breakers though. I just saw that. I mean, we are, we'll have the industrial foregoing one, but uh, we don't have, like he really locked us down on uh, block breakers. Anyway, it's a good thing I made obsidian this way, I guess, because the block miner is really slow, and that would have been the other option. Anyway, we got the block placer. That's cool. Tree fluid extractor. And what's the last part of this we need? We're going to need uh, a bunch of oak, right? So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of oak. Let's do that. Sweet. And what this is going to do is going to make us plastic. Plastic's used in industrial for going machines, and uh, that's something I'm going to want to get into pretty soon. I really want to get to the point where I can automate stone, like, quickly, right? And that's industrial for going. So in the next video, we'll be able to get to the stonework factory. I'll just place the other way and then kind of push forward from that point. I can actually get my build done. That is kind of the main thing. I want that stone so I can get my build done. But anyway, take that oak. What it's going to do, it's going to start extracting fluid from that oak. Every once in a while, it's going to break that piece of oak and the placer is just going to automatically place it. I think it does by default anyway. I should probably check that. Can't remember if you have to change the redstone signals. Always on. No, it's good to go. So that'll break after time, but it'll, it's grabbing the latex. That's what we need. We need another machine here, though. So let's go grab that. Uh, the other machine we need here is the latex uh, processing plant. Go ahead and grab one of them. We need uh, a machine frame. What is that? Machine case. Oh, it just needs blocks of redstone. There we go. Let's grab some of them. <laughs> here we go. Awesome. And we might be able to make that now, right? Cool. Uh, we already have a flux point, so we're good on power. Then we'll need a way to move liquids around. So we'll just use translocators for that because it's a weird little space. And it'll just save space, right? You'll kind of see what I mean here in a second. Let's grab you, drop you off. And I think we're good. Two, three, and maybe four. Okay. Did we need anything else? Uh, we're going to need our other infinite water source. It's one of the reasons I actually wanted it infinite. Grab you. Awesome. And uh, we're going to grab this puppy and pop it right there. What this thing does, it takes water in the latex and it makes a uh, dry plastic, I think. Then you take nine of them. Uh, what is it here? Let's look at the latex. The exact process here. So latex. Oh, no, it's plastic, right? Plastic. There we go. So you got to take dry rubber, which comes from tiny dry rubber, nine of them, right? So this basically makes the uh, tiny dry rubber. You then take that and smelt it up. That is the process. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab the liquid translocators. And we're just going to get these to all pump into that one machine. So oh, let's not do that because that doesn't make any sense. Do you. Sweet. And these things are super awesome. <laughs> I love translocators. Although in large amounts, they get laggy. So something to be aware of. There we go. So all the latex going in there, it just needs water. So to give it water should be super simple. Uh, actually, I might have to do this a little janky. But it doesn't matter. That should push water in there, right? Yeah, it's getting water. <laughs> let's do it another way. Let's do it like this. I can put it right here. There we go. We can grab the flux point and we'll just power it from the front wirelessly, right? So that, that, sweet. And it's going to start producing the tiny dry rubber. And uh, we're going to get a whole bunch of that. I'm just going to kind of let this go, let it do its things uh, in between videos. Then we'll have a whole bunch of plastic later on to be able to kind of progress. At some point, we have to actually get into those saplings too. I keep forgetting about that. I have them up there like waiting and queued. I need to make these saplings. Maybe I have to start the next video because uh, we need to get that another quartz one for sure. So yeah, there's plastic automation. Uh, we did obsidian. We got wireless power. I mean, we did a lot today. I did a little janky because I didn't really have a 100% plan, but it's finished either way. And okay, they're going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.